What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for joining me. And if you're here, you're probably here for the same reason uh, that I made this video, and that is the market is tanking, and you're wondering what should you do? You know, should you sell? Should you buy? I don't know. That's pretty much what ran through my head first thing in the morning when I woke up and I saw that everything decided to crash even further. But I, I kind of want to address this because this is actually an opportunity that doesn't come along too much. So, um, you know, we're going to talk about that. But just remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a guy on the Internet who has an opinion. <laughs> I like to share those opinions. So if you uh, if you're watching this, just remember, this is for entertainment only. It's in no way financial advice. Please don't sue me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, the other thing uh, that I want to just get out of the way as well, if you can, uh, go ahead and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let me know if you're a new subscriber down in the comments. I would really appreciate that. And hit the notification bell because I don't think it gets enough respect, to be honest. And that's just on anybody's channel. With that being said, let's get into it. So this is my portfolio right now. Uh, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we have red everywhere. I don't think I have any green, maybe one. Um, let's take a look here. Um, so Apple's down, Tesla's down, I got AT&T, they're down, Starbucks is down, Ford's down. It just goes down, 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 down. So this is basically what I'm dealing with this morning, you guys. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys are the same. I'm pretty sure you look at all your portfolios. Like, this is just Weeble. But, you know, I look at E-Trade down. You know, I look at Robinhood down. I look at <laughs> Weeble down. So we're all dealing with the same thing. It's not just one stock that you pick. Don't feel bad about picking a stock and seeing it's in the red right now because honestly, we're all in the red right now. And it's times like these where you got to kind of just take a step back and realize that you're a lot like I'm a long term investor. So I realize my, what my goal is, right? I don't think short term. Um, I mean, I'm down in Tesla. Like I got hit hard this week and. Um, you know, I, I'm down quite a bit, but I know Tesla's going to rebound, and I'm just going to wait it out. My, I set my target for Tesla to be 10 to 20 years, so regardless of what happens right now, I'm not too worried about it because I believe in the company, and that's really how investing should be. There's an old saying, right? It's it's time in the market beats timing the market, and if your mind is set on short term, it's where you're going to lose the easiest. Um because you're going to make the most rash decisions based off short-term time frames. So what I would recommend, or what I'm going to do at least for myself during this time period, is I'm going to keep buying. I'm going to look for opportunities to buy, <clears throat> which I've already done quite a bit this morning. I've actually helped out some of my positions um, a little bit more, so I'm just getting these deals right now. This is basically like Black Friday for stocks. Like We're able to go in and just buy it and get really good deals. Not only that, but cryptocurrency too. You know, I'm going to be buying some cryptocurrency because it's it's on sale. Like everything's on sale right now. So, if you have any positions, <clears throat> if you guys have any positions uh, that you're looking to, you know, fill out or or I guess maybe average down in today's the day to do it because it's going to rebound after this and you're going to be kind of beating yourself over the head, uh, wishing that you had another opportunity to buy in. And that's pretty much what we have here. So make sure you take advantage of it. You know, make sure that you guys, um, you know, buy and, and fill out the positions that you really do believe in. Long-term positions are probably going to be even better to fill out here. If you have any short-term plays, go for it, you know, uh, get those knocked out and out of the way. But I think this is a great opportunity. It kind of reminds me of last March and, and what happened then, you know, where the weak hands got out of the game. And everybody else stayed or they bought more and now those people made a lot of money so this is a similar situation uh, to that so keep that in mind um, so yeah that's the video guys I just wanted to reiterate some strategy for you or what I'm gonna do at least um, and like I said pretty much just gonna go in fill out my positions it's a sell that's pretty much the way I look at it even if I'm down I'm, I don't think Tesla's gonna be down I don't think Apple's gonna be down forever you know if you're down in these kind of plays, you have no reason to worry because they're gonna rebound and go back up. It's just the way it's, it's just the way the world works. So, anyways, guys, hope you have a great day. I'm gonna head out. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace.